Utah Jazz just two and four in the second game of back-to-backs this season. Mo Williams and the Jazz on the road taking on the Indiana Pacers and Paul George in the second game of a back-to-back. Roy Hibbert going to work down low early on with the jump hook in the post to give Indiana a 12-11 advantage. Mo Williams at 11 points in this one. There's a jumper for his viewing pleasure. Utah, though, in the second quarter, struggling to make shots. Derek Favors, not close on the hook shot. And then Earl Watson from three. That's no good. Utah scored just eight points in the second quarter. Tyrone Corbin, nonplussed about the results. Paul George, meanwhile, knifing through tough finish in traffic there in transition. Paul George, the slam, finished with 20 points and 15 rebounds. And Lance Stevenson finds George Hill for three on the wing. 46-30 Indiana building a sizable advantage. Then Hill on the step back. That one's good as well. 53-31 Pacers at the half. In the third, Jazz still struggling on offense. This one is a shot clock violation. Then Mo Williams turning the ball over with an errant pass. And then Marvin Williams, well, he just dribbles it out of bounds. It was that kind of night for the Jazz in Indiana. Still in the third, it's Paul George getting it to George Hill. Hill had 20 points in the ball game, a very balanced offensive effort from the Pacers in this one. Fourth quarter now, Paul George with the block right there, saves it, and Indiana's headed the other way. Gerald Green finishing with a finger roll in traffic. It's 80 to 53. And then Green had a season high 21 in this one, including that rim rocker right there. Green has always been a guy who can get up a little more well-rounded to his game within the last year or two, but he's going back to the basics. Well, basics for him at least is Gerald Green, a highlight jam. Indiana wins by 20 in this one. As the Pacers score 100-plus for just the fourth time this season, but guess what? They're 4-0 in those efforts.